and they sort of look at me with that, you know, that that classic glazed over eyes, deer in the headlights look, and, and like, okay. Hi, it's Nani, and welcome to the Chronicles of Nani. Uh, today, if I sound a little bit stuffed up, do not worry. It's not something uh, disease or cold related or anything like that. Uh, one of the last things that uh, my aide uh, did before she left uh, onto bigger and better paying things uh, was she moved some stuff around and help me get some things uh, boxed up that needed to put away. Uh, and it stirred up a lot of dust and it's too cold to open the windows. So I'm sort of living with the dust right now. Um, and that's causing some allergies to do their thing, uh, including getting me stuffed up. And I think that having a sip of coffee because this is a cyber cafe, it'll make my throat feel better. The coffee that mug this week is from Wilson's Tea Shop in Pink County, Michigan. Caramel truffle is really great stuff, and I have a couple of uh, butterscotch creamer that are added with that. It makes a fantastic taste. It's a nice sweet drink if you're in the mood for a sweet coffee, which sometimes I am. But now back to the coffee mug. Uh, Wilson's Tea Shop was a fantastic place, not too far off of the uh, I-75 freeway. So it was a little jaunt that we took when we went uh, camping, uh, which we did often um, because that was uh, not terribly expensive, but a fun thing that the family could do together. We would stop off in Pinconning, Michigan, and, and we would always go to Wilson's Cheese Shop. Having the fantastic cheese and the little uh, packets of fancy mustards and stuff and crackers and things that we would eat in the car or we could eat uh, once we got to the campground. Um, so that was lots of fun. But the greatest thing about Wilson's Cheese Shop was the giant mouse that sat on top of the building. So we would always stop and we would stop at the place with the giant mouse on top because that was something that the kids liked. And it, they had all kinds of wonderful stuff that mom and dad liked inside the store. Um, so this mug I bought I think the last time that I was at Wilson's Cheese Shop, um, which was when my grandmother passed, um, my dad and I uh, had gone to uh, Hale, Michigan, which is farther up north, and it's easy to get through going through Pink Conning. And uh, we stopped at that store, um, sort of as a memory thing. Because it's something that we always loved doing when I was a kid. We uh, bought some stuff to have as uh, a snack when we got to Grandma's place. We had some financial things that we had to take care of. And I was already starting to have some issues with my legs, which were signs of MS. I didn't know that at the time. Uh, but uh, so Dad went with me to make sure that I was okay with the walking and it, it was still a nice daddy daughter day uh, and this was back in 2010. We went to Wilson's and uh, we stopped and bought some stuff. I took some pictures uh, of the uh, giant mouse and uh, some pictures of Pop and me. It was a nice trip, a, a nice uh, daddy-daughter trip that we still do from time to time and we still spend lots of 
daddy and daughter time together. What we're talking about today is uh, MS and actually what MS is. Uh, since that's the chronic illness that I do have, um, I've had lots of people since I was diagnosed that have asked me, so what exactly is MS? This is members of my family that, okay, we know you got this. So what exactly is this? Um, first and foremost, the thing MS is not, is MS is not something that with decent care of yourself and the symptoms from MS, it is not something that shortens your lifespan. So whatever number of years you're meant to be on this earth, that doesn't change. MS doesn't uh, make that quicker. Um, you don't die from MS. Um, you can die from things that occur because of the symptoms if they're not taken care of. Um, that is that uh, I think the biggest one for me is uh, that I have the uh, primary progressive MS, which means that I can't walk anymore. And if I can't walk anymore, it means I have to be moved around or pressure sores can develop. And those pressure sores can end up getting infected. So if I'm not moved around and the pressure sores aren't taken care of, the infection could m speed up my, uh, uh, my, my planned uh, or destined uh, to end. So I'm fortunate that I do have uh, nurses that come in. I have aides that know what to do. And my husband even knows how to move me around and what things need to be done to make sure that pressure sores don't develop and get infected. Um, so still pretty good. Uh, my grandmother was 84. Um, and my great grandmother was well into her 90s. Um, and so was my great great grandmother, who I did know uh, was into her 90s uh, before she passed. So I'm sort of looking at being physiologically more like that side of the family and that line of the family that uh, I could very well um, live into my 90s, uh, making the best of uh, life that I can with MS. And I think I do a pretty decent job. Um, comments are made on the fact that I smile a lot. Um, and I do smile a lot. Uh, I smile because I enjoy doing this vlog. Um, I smile because um, I deal with my symptoms. And uh, I think I've got it pretty well. I, I don't think it's uh, changed my outlook on things. It's just changed the way I look at things. Um, but uh, when people ask me uh, uh, about MS, members of my family, people who care about me, people who've just met me, uh, MS is a disease where the uh, lymphocytes, which are supposed to be taking care of uh, getting rid of bad things that enter your body, um, some of them get confused and start uh, chewing away at the myelin that covers the nerves, um, usually in the brain, sometimes in the spine. But you have uh, the the good things that are supposed to be getting rid of the bad things in your body actually start to chew away at the myelin and expose parts of your nerves. Um, and when it does that, that's what causes the MS symptoms. And I usually sort of give that explanation to people who are not familiar with MS, want to know what's going on with me, what is uh, creating the reason that I'm in the wheelchair, 
what's giving me the days where I'm just so tired I can't stay awake. And they sort of look at me with that, you know, the, that classic glazed over eyes, deer in the headlights look. And, and like, okay. So I came up with uh, my uh, explanation for what MS is. Um, the, the analogy that I use, uh, which I think is easier for anyone who's not a medical professional to understand. Um, MS is, if you think of your body as a home entertainment system, I mean, a good one. If you think of your body as you've got TV and, and you've got your computer games hooked up to the entertainment system and uh, stuff on your computer um, also shows up in that great entertainment system. And you look at MS as a mouse. Capital M, capital S, mouse. Um, and if you think of that mouse getting into the wiring in your entertainment system, and it chews off a spot of the coating on the wiring. It doesn't chew the wiring, but it chews off the coating on the wire wiring, which would be like the myelin on your nerves. Um, it chews off the little spot of that coating and you've got the wires are exposed. Now that's not necessarily gonna screw up your system at first. But if the mouse chews off uh, coating uh, on your wiring um, the, in another spot and it chooses another spot where it chews off a little bit uh, of the coating on your wiring, um, that shows up in an MRI as the scarring on your brain or uh, uh, even on the spine um, where the rogue lymphocytes and to the way uh, the, the myelin. Uh, but if that mouse is chewing off little spots of the uh, covering on your wiring and exposing the wires um, in your home entertainment system, your really great home entertainment system, um, it, it's not going to immediately affect things that are going on with your entertainment system. Center, um, but when the uh, furnace or air conditioner kicks on and it adds some air that's moving in the room, uh, it can start to jiggle those wires that are exposed where it wouldn't if they were completely covered. Uh, but it jiggles those wires that were exposed, and suddenly your entertainment center has little blips that show up in the middle of your game um, or you get little periods of snow that show up on your TV screen um, and then they go away um, and you start to wonder what the heck is going on and then the next time that uh, air moves in your house it may jiggle those uh, same wires or different wires and make something Odd go on with your entertainment system that you know it's a great entertainment system and now things are not working right um, and, and you start to I need to get this checked out and you have an electrician that comes in and says oh it looks like there are spots where a mouse has been chewing on your uh, wires they haven't affected the wires but the coating on the wires um, and then that's where MS drugs come in. Um, but we'll just call those electric tape, where instead of uh, taking the wire completely out, because in the human body, you can't take the wire completely out. Um, but they use electric tape to cover that spot where the mouse was biting. And the electric tape holds together the wires and keeps those uh, blips in your entertainment center down to a minimum. Um, 
the wires are still exposed underneath the electric tape. So the electric tape is not going to be perfect all the time, uh, but it's going to help cut down those uh, uh, glitches in your entertainment center. That's MS medication and what MS medication can do to help uh, the relapsing remitting MS more than any of the other MSs. So it's a good idea to use uh, medications that, that can help. Uh, so definitely those electric tape type of medication. So I will encourage you to subscribe because subscribers are, are a good thing. Whenever you have a blog, the more subscribers you've got, uh, the, the better you feel. Um, and I will, as always, encourage you to, uh, if you know somebody with a chronic illness, if you know somebody who cares for somebody or cares about somebody, friends, family of someone uh, with a chronic illness, please encourage them to uh, check out the Chronicles of Nani. And uh, if they like it, subscribe. <laughs> and uh, uh, I will see you again next week uh, with another wonderful uh, cyber coffee shop drink. And uh, so other tales of the Chronicles of Nadi and things that are mostly happy that still go on in my life or that I still think about in my life. And until next week, have a fantastic week and I'll hopefully be seen by you then.